All right, so here's my topic I'm going to be going over. Uh, the main message for it will be uh, time management. Uh, but before I go ahead and get started, so pretty much uh, just for the over for the overview, um, just going to talk briefly about about time ma time management, the benefits of time management, um, and then give a couple of tips. Give a couple of tips on what you, what you can do as an individual to to learn better time management. Um, these things are something I will be applying to my daily life as well. Um, to you know, see how see how I can implement it into how I go about doing things on the daily to manage my time better, pretty much. So time management by Cindy Taylor. Um, so what is time management? This thing is a little bit in the way. Move it right here. Okay. So in, in simple terms, um, time management is just a process of planning and controlling how much time to spend on a specific tasks or activities. Um, group time management enables an individual to complete the tasks uh, they're doing in a more shorter period, work, if, work effectively and lower, and lower stress and achieve their set goal. So um, I know as, as you guys could see the part that I highlighted, those are the main areas that, you know, once you apply a blue time management into, um, those are the areas that are gonna help um, pretty much uh, improve. So as far as uh, shorter, Shorting period, uh, complete tax in the most shorting period. Um, that definitely applies to if you're if you're the person who have a lot going on and you want to get it done faster. You don't want to spend a whole a whole amount, amount of time, a, a lot of time on getting those um the certain tax done. Oh, uh, if you if you manage if you if you apply some of the tips I'm going to show you guys later on into the slides. Um, it's definitely going to help shorten, shorten the amount of time you're spending on each task that you're trying to complete. Um, work effectively, um, yeah, definitely going to help you with that. Uh, lower stress, achieve, set goal. So these also are pretty much like a little bit of the over overview as well, because it's going to, I'm going to go over these things as we go into the slide. I guess I just didn't have it on on a, a separate a, a separate slide. So moving forward, um, so benefit the ability to manage your time effectively is more important to your success. Um, good time management leads to improved efficiency, productivity, less stress, and more success in life. So. So as far as success in life, um, that applies to um, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve or you want to be successful in. Um, it's managing your time wisely will help you will help you um, be a lot more productive. Be able to like see, especially if you have your activities that you want to do listed out and the amount of time you want to spend on them. Um, and a lot of us. As you guys, a lot of folks probably have other things going on that we want to be able to um, use our time wisely on them, not just, you know, waste our time on whatever. So some of the benefit helps you monitor your time. So like I mentioned, so as with me, I have a chalkboard. You guys might see it all the way in the corner down there, somewhere up there in the corner. So for that for that truck bull, when I usually when I wake up and the amount of tags or I'll call it like my to-do list that I want to get done before I go to work. Because usually when I from the time I wake up to when I go to work, I have about roughly four hours, or depending if I go to the gym or not. Um I have roughly three to four hours to get everything I need to get done, um, including getting ready for work within that amount of time. So usually I will, I will have, you know, tags listed and then put a time that I want to get them done. So pretty much like a quick little deadline 
Um, so that's kind of like what it's talking about, monitoring your time, because it's like trying to make every second count. Um, it allows you to make better plans. Um, you kind of plan ahead a little bit more if you manage your time wisely. Gives you opportunities to do more. Um, if you would have everything lay out that what you want to do, you can see how much time you have left to include more if you want to include more in, onto your to-do list or whatever list of things that you have to do. Um, make you prioritize the most important tasks. So if you have a list of things that you want to do, you can do it from most important to least important. So you can prioritize things you want to do first and then going down on the list, the things that, you know, that is not the most priority. So that's kind of what that line is talking about. Gives you ability to realize your goal. Um, if you, if you have, if you're, written, if you, if you wrote down some of your goals and you're managing your time in a more efficient manner or in a more effective way, you can definitely, um, kind of see, you know, if you're actually meeting those goals. So in, in, uh, in, in, for instance, for me, if I have a list of things I need to complete today, I have a time on them, um, as I'm reaching, as I'm hitting all those times, you know, I'm also realizing that um, I'm reaching my goals. Uh, I'm reaching my goals that I set to get to complete. So that's that. Um, List of tips for effective time management. So, uh, I do have a source, uh, a cited source linked to this PowerPoint that I was able to get some of the information for and just kind of summarize some of them a little bit. And for, for this one, the photo actually came from there. So, uh, but I just, I just, I have them listed in here. I try to include as much photo as I can, so you guys can, uh, can also kind of see some vi uh, visuals, um, some visuals for the PowerPoint. To set goals correctly, number one, um, prioritize wisely. Set a time, set a time limit. So what I was talking about earlier, setting the time limit on what you're doing. Take breaks between tags. <clears throat> you definitely want to be taking breaks because, I mean, you guys may even know when you, most of us who have been to school, if you just sit and study for like hours, you just feel like your brain about to explore or something. So we definitely need breaks. I mean, when we go to school, that's why you will see we'll have recess or we'll have lunch because, um, you know, we, the brain can only take so much before it starts to feel overwhelmed. And then it's like, you're not taking nothing in the mode because you just been like going nonstop. So um, you need to take breaks between your tasks, uh, organize yourself. So as far as organizing, um, yeah, you definitely want to keep things a lot more organized. So that way you can be able to like, pretty much think clearly or, or really see because I don't know for some of you guys, but like, because with me being tapping into a lot of like entrepreneurial mindset or entrepreneurship lately, um, I do write a lot of things down as far as like my vision and stuff I want to work on. So organizing your thoughts as well definitely help, help you to definitely see what it is that you want to work on and what you should be focusing on the most. Um, and then that could just come to your ergonomics. So as far as your workspace, where you work. So it's like, if you have stuff everywhere in your environment, you're gonna be like really, uh, you know, not organized. So you wanna organize your, your thoughts and your environment as well. Um, remove non-essential tasks. So things that are not as important. So if I go back to where you guys, um, one of these lists that I mentioned about you prioritizing, like make, make, uh, make your make, makes you prioritize the most important tax. So that's similar to what it's talking about. It. So remove a uh, non-essential tax. So anything that is not, is not really a priority. You don't really need to focus on the most. You don't even have to include it on your list of things that you need to complete. 
Um, okay, moving forward, last one, plan ahead. So plan ahead would just be similar to what I was mentioning earlier, um, the list of things that you wanna do, maybe a couple of days ahead if you have uh, uh, things outside of work as far as your family, maybe a wedding, uh, you definitely want to plan those things as well before um, before it before it comes. Um, so moving forward, next slide. So this one was definitely in the the article I was reading, um, but this picture was not in. I kind of included in there. So it's more like a little strategy, pretty much, to help you. Um, be able to manage your time, but it try to make it as simple as possible. Um, it's it, actually, when I was reading the article, it looks like I've seen it somewhere before, but I couldn't remember where it was that I saw it. So I, it says a uh, specific, so it's called SMART. So set goals that are achievable and measurable. Um, use SMART meta when setting goals. So specific, so S is for specific, M, Measurable, A, attainable, R, relevant, and T, time-based. Um, is everybody hearing me good? You guys will have the opportunity to ask questions as I go forward. Everybody's hearing me? Yes, sir. Okay. I, I, see, I see a thumbs up from uh, Debbie. Friends, you good too? You, everybody following along? All right, cool, cool, cool. Just checking with y'all. Okay, so back to the slide. Uh, so for S specific, uh, if you guys see most of what I'm explaining all the slides I'm, as I'm going forward, it's also relating to you know the list I have here. So the um, benefit that will help you manage your time. So like most of these things are also kind of in that in the list of benefits I have there. So for specific, um, that also relating to the more relevant thing that you want to do or a little more detail because you know you don't want to just do a whole bunch of words on a sheet of paper and say you want to like get a hundred or a couple of like maybe I'll say 20 to 30 things done so it's like you got to be a little more specific and a little more detail like I want to clean up my room before nine o'clock um, and take shower and then maybe head to the gym at 9 30 and stuff like that because it's like you want to make every second count, like you want to get the best you can out of your day. Um, so that's what it's talking about, specific, uh, measurable. So yes, um, if you have a list of things that you have and the time on them, you can, that's pretty much how you're able to measure it because you can see if you're able to, sorry about that. You can see if you're able to meet your time. Um, attainable. So something that you know you can do that like you can be setting the goals uh, that will say, oh, I don't know, I want to climb my Everest or something. Probably because I saw the mountain over there, that's what I thought about my Everest. When uh, you can barely climb like a little hill or something. So in other words, like you don't want to set goals that, you know, will be a lot more difficult for you to achieve. And you put a lot of stress on yourself. So relevant. So yeah, uh, things that are, things that are more relevant that you need to complete, not just like throwing random things into your life and saying that's what you want to complete. And at the end of the day, you realize you wasted your time. So you know, it has to be relevant, time based. Set a time on it. So what I've been explaining earlier. Moving on. So those are uh, some of those lists of things that I have. That was number pretty much in the slide here. So I'm gonna go over some of them. Um, so prioritize wisely. Um, prioritize tax based on important ur uh, urgency. For example, look at your daily tasks and determine which are most important and urgent. Do these tasks right away. Um, but not urgent, decide when, when, uh, when to do the tax. For urgent, urgent but not important, just get these tax if possible. Not urgent and not important, set these aside to later. So um, 
Yes, so it's exactly what I was explaining on about the list thing earlier. So go from most important to least important or not urgent. Um, it's not like you can't do them, but you can just like push them aside. Um, sometimes what I will try to do is, even if I don't have a list of things that I need to do. So if I'm thinking about cleaning my bathroom, I know I have to go to work within like the couple, the next couple of hours. The moment I'm thinking about it, that's when I just go and just get it done. Um, I've le I learned this from my ROTC or commander. And ever since he told me that, it's like, it just click that the best time to do something is when you're thinking about it. Especially like, let's say you're watching a movie, but then you've been thinking about, I don't know, uh, getting your clothes ready for church or getting ready for your meeting coming up or something. So you know, like, oh, I'll do that later. And for us human beings, a lot of us, we, we procrastinate a lot. So that definitely applies to me every time. And I know some of you guys, if you apply it to your, to your daily life, you will see some improvement. But it's like the moment you're thinking about something, it's the best time to do it. Um, so going on, I keep hitting this button. So the time limit to complete a task, which I've been talking about, um, setting time constraints for completing tasks helps you be more focused and efficient. So if you set a time on things you want to do, um, you know, you lock and focus on it. And you know every distraction coming in, you can probably avoid, I don't know, when you set your time, put like a silent, put silent on your phone or something so that you can be locked in and just like get it done and get it out the way. Take a break between tasks. Um, yeah, take a break when it's harder, just stay focused motivated allow some downtown between tax to refresh yourself i don't know get a snack or something i don't know what you i don't know what's taking the break would be like for you maybe it's like watching a couple of youtube videos or just sitting down and listening to music whatever you can do to ease yourself doing um taking a break when you're doing your work or when you you know getting your daily getting your daily tasking done um, you know, that's what you should do. Meditating. So that's what they have here. Go for a short walk. And then organize yourself. So those were the list of things that I have. I'll go back a few slides here. So I'm, I'm around like right here now. Organize yourself. Um, so yeah, you want to keep your workspace space organized like what I was mentioning earlier. You know, depending where you work, if you have like a little office at home. So as for me, I do have a desk uh, where I have most of my computers and stuff. I try to keep it as organized as possible. So when I get on the table to do work, I don't want to like be moving things here and there. Don't know where I put sticky notes or looking for a pen to write down something. So once I'm done on the table, I just make sure I have them back to where they need to be. You know, everything is looking a little more neat so that way it frees up space in my mind to not have to like think about some other things that should be in place. Um, remove non-essential tasks. So yep, like I mentioned earlier again, things are not important, cross it out of the list or put them down to, on your list of things that you need to do to the least uh, urgently or the least things to prioritize. Plan ahead. As always, you want to plan ahead um, so that way you know where you should be working on. Oh, and that is my site resources. So, yeah, that concludes the slides. So, I'm just going to go ahead and point out uh, this guy from here. So, yeah, so now, um, so for the summary slide, uh, it's not in here, but I'll just talk briefly. So, so yeah, for summary, definitely, uh, I can see, I can see this applying to almost uh, almost all of us life, because the way we manage our time can definitely help us um, achieve a lot. So, as far as with everything we have going on, maybe school, family, work, um, prioritizing our time management helps us to really get the things that do the things that we need to focus on the most. And as the slides, you guys saw the slide talk most about 
how we can go about doing it. So, yep, now it's Q&A. What question do you guys have for me? Are uh, you the woman to stop sharing my screen now, Prince? Um, you can keep it up until... Uh, oh, right, right, right. You guys do it about, yeah, about to ask questions. So, so yeah, it'll be up for a little while. We'll get off, got some questions and... Nobody have questions? So specifically for um, time management, looking at project change, how do you think members can specifically apply that, um, what you've trained on to project change and accomplishing their, their works at project change? So for instance, uh, in the office there, I definitely think um, planning ahead for sure. So they come in on Monday, and they have you know, pretty much the rest of the week on um, things they're gonna be working on. So they, they could start writing down the list of things that they wanna prioritize for Tuesday. And obviously they know their schedule, when they come in, um, when they take breaks on task, who's gonna be doing what. So those are areas uh, project change, leadership that we focus on. Um, measurable, attainable, and relevant as well. Um, I would say just this whole smart strategy right here, because as I mentioned, I, I, I believe I have come across it before, but it's probably been a while, it's probably been sometimes in uh, high school. But yeah, I think definitely, because this one is like a lot more simple term, but oh. at, the same, at the same time too, like the list of things in it is, a little more specific on what you need to focus on. So the smart strategy is actually a universal strategy, um, almost when it comes to setting goals. Right. So which when you set your goals, you need to you know consider time management, and hence the reasons in this training. But uh, the smart strategy is even used by Project Change and our performance reports um, uh, forms ask you for. And what are your goals? What are your personal goals? And your supervisor is to help you ensure that these goals are smart, which means that they're specific, uh, they're measurable, they're attainable, they're relevant um, to what it is that's going on in your life. And they're time sensitive because if you just have broad goals, then you're going to not be accountable to yourself or anyone else. Um, so the smart strategy is used even in the Air Force where I work and around the world to, to help people set, set smarter goals. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, like you said, uh, it's something that Project Change has also been taking um, responsibility or uh, accountability on and applying it to what to do daily. Um, organize as well, I could say this could be one of them because like you, like most of us have seen our drive, we try to keep it as organized as possible, but I can also apply to, to the uh, headquarters there. Um, having our documents right where they need to be can save up time if we have some kind of important meeting coming up and somebody needs to grab something um, we can so that they can know where to uh, get this document from to save up time pretty much. Right, we gotta we gotta move on um, but any last questions for Sandy before we conclude the training? Ernestine, look like you had a question. You want to say something? No, it's okay. Albert, you, Albert, no questions? Albert, there, I don't think I heard Albert this whole meeting. Ah. Albert, yes, I'm are, are, are you awake, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm following, following, following. All right, cool, cool. So I can end my screen now, right, Prince? Yeah.